fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on the track. Trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes, do you have something to report? That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Well, I don't officially have access to any more funds, but here. This is from me personally. There's more coming your way, too. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. Progress with the boomers. Well done. The boomers' firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. 
Your next assignment won't take you far. It concerns the Omertas and their den of vice, Gamora. As the decisive encounter between the bull and the bear looms close, my concerns about the Omertas have grown. I've never expected loyalty, mind you. A reliably underhanded tribe is just as constant to deal with as one that always runs true. But that's just it. Lately, the Omerta's cooperative silence has been deafening. Not a single complaint. They're up to something. What did you want to discuss? By my calculations, his death will affect the shape of the battle for Uverdan minimally, if at all. The Legion's aggression will outlive Caesar. Indeed, they'll try to take the dam as a tribute to his memory. Given a year, they'd have him deified. But by then, the Legion will be breaking down, riven by internal conflicts, a monster consuming itself. It's irrelevant. In the short term, the Legion is still monster enough that defeating it will make me look powerful indeed. What else did you want to discuss? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. As I said before, I need you to investigate the Omertas to see what they're up to. The Omertas are fanatically loyal to each other. Still, among any group, one can find the occasional degenerate. Gomorrah's receptionist happens to be one. For years, she passed on whispers of what was taking place at the casino in exchange for payment. A few months ago, she clammed up. Odds are she's scared. But I've had no way of approaching her. Start with her. Fine, show me what you got. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gomorrah. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Don't expect me to carry your junk. And welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know?
All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Later. What the fuck are you looking at? Whoa, simmer down. Head over to Brimstone. I'll have him find you there. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. You again? What the fuck do you want? Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy your friendship. I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay, toss him at me. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay, toss him at me. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy up there in the Lucky 38. Hey, you're Kachino's friend. You got business with me? All right. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Kachino? Kachino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. 
Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number, and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. More power to you if you can, but keep me out of it. I've been doing business with Big Saw, so he's going to be your man. I tell you, not at home is going to have his day. You got something you need to talk about? Ah, Trike. What's he want? Some more jet? A fresh batch of girls? Maybe a guy or two this time. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Okay, tell Troy he can hit the road. All right, come back anytime. You again. Make it quick. Holy shit. Really? Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Hey, fuck you. All right, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Benny bag before you burned his sorry ass. Show me what you got. Welcome back to Gamora. I know you're good for it, but you're still gonna have to... You'll get the... Holy shit, you've been in Lucky 38, you meet the overbot.
don't expect me to carry your junk. Legion better watch out now. Our... I hear the Securitrons are tougher since their faces changed. Hey, what gonna do for you? Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Now the bosses want to see you. Uh, is that right? Is that your handiwork? Well, I can't say I'm sad to see him go. He gave me the fucking creeps. Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. <laughs> Hurry and get ready. I'll give you a gun when you get to the room. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. Take cover! King sold out to the NCR, huh?
What do you have to report about the Omertas? Well done. They won't be causing any trouble then. Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. Since 2278, I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incident, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. It's obvious that the Brotherhood has a base in Hidden Valley or thereabouts. Finding it won't be easy, but getting inside will be the real trick. From time to time, the NCR has assaulted Brotherhood bunkers. In four of the six incidents I know of, the bunkers self-destructed. I surmise it's standard practice for the Brotherhood to install a self-destruct system. It's consistent with their uncompromising nature. You might use that against them, or kill them another way, it's up to you. Return when it's done. <laughs> 